Well, see what, see what's 89. Well, I finally watched Watchmen, the TV series. Now, I, I, look, I didn't read the comic as a kid. I, I just didn't have a lot of comics when I was a kid, so I missed that one. And I wouldn't have enjoyed it anyway, because I like actual superheroes who, you know, have morals and save the day. I don't like the, the current sort of era of superheroes where it's all about the grey and finding the dark side of, of superheroes and, and good and just, I don't like where they're all going for all this. Um, but um, I watched the movie. I barely remember anything about it except there was a naked blue man who glowed and flew and there was a woman who was supposed to be really sexy but her outfit just looked like a really odd, outdated costume from the 80s. So they were going for something like that but sort of a 40s, 50s element because the characters were from that era but created in the 80s and then sort of redone in the noughts and it just it was a bit uneven. That's all I remember about it honestly. Um, so the series I had no idea what it was um, going to be. Sometimes it helps to go into something cold because you don't have expectations but also you just leaves you sitting there going like what's happening? But um, yeah so this one Regina King is the main sort of actress um, and of course I remember hearing back in the day people hating it. Now some of the people were just racist, you know, who didn't like having, uh, you know, a strong black woman leading a TV series because, you know, they just don't like that. But um, then I started watching it like, oh, they're really going hard on the um, the alt-right and, and racism and everything. It's really, they're not really imagining that it's dealing with these issues. There is an agenda there. So it's like, okay. Um, but I thought it was great. Basically, what they did was, instead of doing a remake of the movie or the original um, graphic novel, they said, where would we be 30 years from that um, that reality? Because there's an alternative, rea alternative reality. There's different president, different things that have happened in that era to make a very different sort of um, 1985. Uh, so they basically just said, let's just see where that goes in 30 years. And like there were elements in the first story that were recognisable to people of the day. This is supposed to be about issues that's recognisable to us. So there's a lot of racism. Um, isolationists, um, government conspiracies, um, just the whole idea of um, the police, the violence, um, mass identities, just it's it's interesting basically the poli oh God, basically there's a new white supremacist group who've come up and they are pushing back against all the progress that happened in the recent past, um, like reparations and things like that have happened. Um, and the police have been so threatened that they start wearing masks, so they're not in danger anymore because the threat of the white supremacists is so strong and real. And it is the biggest threat in America and in the world. No, it's not terrorism, not international terrorism. It's homegrown white supremacy, which is the biggest um, threat and most dangerous thing and the most disruptive thing to um, society and, you know, our culture. So ex dealing with that and exploring that was great. I don't know where they would have gone in a second season. Supposedly they were supposed to be doing this as a series, but um, uh, Linda Loff and all the people involved basically said, we said what we wanted to say and I don't think it got huge ratings, so they were just happy to leave it where it was and... Um, reclassified as an event series as opposed to, or a limited series as opposed to just a TV series that just got one season. Because it is very self-contained. Um, and it's interesting because I didn't really know the backgrounds for some of the characters that feature, who were featured in the actual comic, and then there's new people, and then just moving it forward 30 years. There's elements I recognise from the film, but not much. But um, it was interesting. There were a few episodes that were a bit a bit dry and I'm like who am I supposed to like in this what am I what who is this made for what am I supposed to like in this and then eventually Regina started to pick up the game a bit and um, they went back in time and showed that the boy at the start um, who's now the grandfather at the end and they sort of explored his whole story and they did it through Regina's character taking pills that um, basically give you memories but they're other people's memories so she's living so they could have just done a flashback episode or just, you know, just shown an episode in the past to show this person's backstory, but they did it in a more interesting way. But it was also a bit confusing because the first time I was watching it, I missed a little bit of the dialogue about the nature of these pills and so forth. And I basically had to go back three episodes and, and start watching again because I could not follow what was happening because I'd missed just a couple little bits of exposition. Um, 
and then I'm like, oh, okay, now it makes sense. Oh, okay, okay, now I get it. So I did have to rewatch. And I haven't really done that in a TV series, but I'm just like, I'm totally confused. I think I might have fallen asleep a little bit for a few minutes. Not because it was boring, but because it was like 4 a.m. in the morning and I was watching it from like 3 a.m. in the morning through to like, you know, the next day. That's when I could fit it in. So um, overall it was good. Um, I understand why the Chuds hated it, because it just absolutely skewers the um, the alt-right and the, the um, all those people that are, that are a problem today. It's like, yeah, so that was interesting and well done. Um, but I probably won't watch it again because it wasn't... I don't know, it kind of got good. The last few episodes were good, but before that, I don't know. I don't know. I guess that's the real test for me if I want to watch something again or not. Not whether I just thought it was good, but if I want to watch it again, and I have no idea. But I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of Watchmen. <laughs>